What's up everyone and welcome to another edition of Cowan Live. I would say I'm here in beautiful Westfield, Massachusetts, but it's a little rainy. I'm here with Brian Letty, one of our drivers out of Westfield. Brian, if you could introduce yourself, let everyone know how long you've been driving total, how long you've been driving with Cowan and what you do for Cowan Systems. Oh, my name is Brian Letty. I've been driving for five years. I've been with Cowan for four years. I do the store deliveries, I do driver's training, and I work in the yard for the neighborhood. It's a little bit of everything. Just about. That's great. And then on your normal routes, when you're not jockeying in the yard, where does your normal routes take you? Where do you wind up going? I usually end up in New Jersey or New York City, sometimes upstate New York. Okay. So sometimes you get in the city, huh? Oh, well, the city sucks. Ah, <laughs> hey, hey, it's a family show, you know, I can't control what's happening, we're going live. Uh, so let's kick it off with some questions. How did you get into trucking? I like to drive. I like to drive. I mean, I when I was younger and stuff, I would get in the car and I just go. Just go. I just go. You I like the like, peace and quiet. Like peace and quiet. Like you know, and it's it's fun. You get to see things you don't see because you're working in an office all the time. I agree. I love to get out myself, get to different terminals, yeah. and visit the people, as they say. So you've been with Cowan for four years. Yes, sir. What has made you stay here so long, and what is your favorite thing about working here at Cowan Systems? I stay here because they treat you with respect. Pay me very well. I can't complain about that. Um, what do I like about Cali? Just a good company to work for. They have awesome. good benefits, good good um, incentives. They do a lot of things for you. They help you out. That's perfect. Good people, good pay. Yeah. Sounds like good times. It is. It's very good times. I can dig it. All right. So um, you talked about going into the city, and obviously you have some tough routes sometimes, and with deliveries. Can you talk about some of the daily challenges that you face? Because we know it's always not the, the easiest job. Well, when you go into the city, you have to deal with the traffic, no matter what time of day, night, morning, it doesn't matter. And going in there with the big, long trucks, it's, it's challenging. You gotta watch the bridges, you gotta watch the like said, traffic. But when you're backing into the stores, that's very, very challenging too. It's very challenging. All right. And I like a challenge. You like a challenge? I love a challenge. That's why. It's awesome. Well, it's good to hear. So for the most part, it's not too bad though, right? No, it's not bad at all. Okay, awesome. So talking about some of those challenges, uh, we do know that you served 28 years in the Army. So I know I speak for everyone at Cal when I say thank you for your service, well, first of all. And did anything prepare you over those 28 years of being in the Army for preparing you for driving in the city or driving you know, as your occupation now? Yes, I, I, I drove trucks in the Army. I drove heavy equipment, tanks, one one yeah. And I, like I said, I like driving, so that, that prepares you for the outside world and stuff like that. Absolutely. It helps you out a lot. For sure. What, what was what was more difficult to drive, an 18-wheeler in New York City or a tank anywhere? Ooh. <laughs> an 18-wheeler in New York City. Really? Because a tank could go anywhere. It's a good point. I guess you could just <laughs> mow some things over. Yeah, just mow things down and just keep it. If anyone's in our, your way, just drive over. Yeah, our safety department wouldn't be a big fan, no, I guess. they would just not. taking out whatever was in your way. No, they would not. All right, so you've made it through the difficult part or the easy part, depending on how you look at it. We're going to get into our rapid-fire questions, so these are just going to be quick. Okay. You've got to think, just, just speak from your heart. Oh, boy. All right, here we go. Brian Letty, are you ready? Yes. Favorite sports team? Miami Dolphins. How you like that, guys? Pats fans up here in Massachusetts. That's right. Yes. All right, since we're in Massachusetts, we're going to roll with it. What is your Dunkin' order? Large cream and sugar. Large cream and sugar, all right. Pretty simple. I can yeah. dig it. Favorite restaurant? Evie's. Well, I don't. I'm not familiar with that. Ah. Can you explain it? It's a local restaurant. They they serve. Evie's. Yeah, it's, it's a local restaurant, and in, in where I, the town I live in, they serve Italian food. Okay. Nice, big portion of Italian. Food. That's awesome. Excellent. All right, there you go. Yeah, it's Evie's people. Yes. All right. The favorite car that you've ever owned? Sixty-eight Nova. Sixty-eight Nova. Yes. Let that thing roll, huh? Oh, it did. Alright. Coolest place that you've ever been on a vacation or maybe when you're in the army? Any Bonhova, Germany. Yeah? yeah. What was so what would, what would you like about it? Germany is such a nice place. It's, it's a, the culture is so different from the United States. Yeah. And the people are so they're so nice. They love the Americans over there. Awesome. And it's just a nice little town. It was up in the mountains. It's a nice little town. Cool. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool here. Alright. Some other some or and or questions. So free airfare for life or free gas for 20 years? Free gas for 20 years. All right, he's a man who likes to drive. What do you expect? <laughs> Pepsi or Coke? Coke. Spicy or mild? Spicy. Hot weather or cold weather? 
hot weather. Now, some background. He's up here in Westfield, Mass. Now, yes. but he's originally from St. Augustine. So, yes, I, am. I guess we can't be too surprised. Last question. All in the history of the NFL, you can pick one quarterback in his prime to take you to a Super Bowl. Who are you picking? Bob Greasy. Bob Greasy. I thought you were going to go Marino, but hey, what do I know? Brian, you made it through. We really appreciate thank all you, you do for the company. We thank you for coming out and being on Cow Live. If you guys have any questions or comments for Brian, please post them underneath here, and we'll make sure he gets them. If you have anything that you think we should ask next time on Cow Live, please let us know, and we will see you next time. Thanks, guys.